In this problem, we need to simplify this expression here. So I'm going to need my order of operations. So here's a summary of my order of operations. So step one, we have to work on parentheses, but we really need to consider all grouping symbols. So we need to evaluate everything inside our grouping symbols. So I have a set of parentheses here, so I'm going to have to evaluate that. This set of parentheses, I don't have to evaluate anything in there because it's already simplified. But there's also a hidden set of grouping symbols here, and that is the division bar. Because implied in the division bar are parentheses around the numerator and the denominator. So it basically says you're going to have to do everything in the numerator, simplify it. You're going to simplify everything in the denominator, and when that is finally done, then you can do your division. Okay, so let's work on this example. So the first thing I'm going to do is my 4 minus 7. So I'm going to get negative 5 squared minus 3 times, and what's 4 minus 7? It is negative 3. And remember, how did I get that? 4 minus 7 can be thought about as 4 plus a negative 7. Adding integers of opposite signs, you take the sign of the bigger one and subtract. 7 minus 4 is 3. All divided by negative 5 minus a negative 13. Excuse the terrible handwriting. So I've taken care of my parentheses. Now I need to work on exponents. I only have one exponent here, but be very, very, very careful with this expression. This is the one that students mess up on the most. Negative 5 squared means negative 1 times 5 squared. So it's negative 1 times 5 times 5 is 25, so the answer is negative 25. A lot of students think the answer to this is positive 25. If I wanted to square the negative along with the 5, I would have had to have written negative 5 all squared, because that means negative 5 times negative 5 which is positive 25. So be very careful when you see things like this. So negative 5 squared we've just shown is negative 25 minus 3 times a negative 3, all divided by negative 5 minus a negative 13. So I've taken care of exponents. Now I need to work on multiplication and divisions, working from left to right. So in the numerator, I have a multiplication here. So I'm going to have negative 25. And then I have a negative 3 times a negative 3. So a negative times a negative is a positive, and 3 times 3 is 9. All divided by negative 5. And now, what is the opposite of negative 13? Well, the opposite of negative 13 is positive 13. So I've taken care of my multiplications. I cannot do the division indicated by this division bar until the, I've simplified the denominator and the numerator. So the last thing I'm going to have to do before I can do that is my additions and subtractions. So in the numerator, I have negative 25 plus 9. I'm adding integers with opposite signs. You take the sign of the larger one, so it's going to be negative, And 25 minus 9 is 16. In the denominator, again, I have opposite signs. You take the sign of the larger one, so my denominator is going to be positive, And 13 minus 5 is 8. So now, finally, I have simplified the numerator and the denominator. I can do my division.
a negative divided by a positive is a negative. 16 divided by 8 is 2. So the answer to this problem is negative 2.